guys, happy Monday. It's actually the end of a long day, so I feel like I'm a little bit worn out, but I really enjoyed my outfit today. Actually, it was Veterans Day, and I really didn't plan this, but I'm wearing camo, and I, everybody today thought I was wearing camo as like a tribute to Veterans Day, but I actually didn't even really have any idea. So from the bottom up, today I'm wearing my Sam Edelman pumps. These are so comfortable, and I really am happy with them. I have them on all day from about, I don't know, 8.30 this morning, and right now it's after seven. So that's a really long time, and I was doing some walking around. I went to the mall, I was at work all day, walking up and down, you know, so. I would definitely vouch for these. I'd say these are a good purchase. I would like to get these in another color. And then on the bottom, you guys probably have seen these already before. These are my Zara camo pants. My camo joggers, they don't have these anymore. I got these like at the beginning of the summer, earlier this year, so these are out of stock. But I think they might have something else. I'll see what I can find and link it in the description box. And then I have on a plain white button up blouse from Talbot. My jacket is from Zara as well. And then my bag is my Pochette Matisse. And that's it, that's my outfit. This was a super comfortable outfit and I really liked how funky it was because the camo joggers just changed the whole outfit. If I just wore regular slacks or jeans, it would be a whole different vibe. So I really like that. And as you guys know, camo is one of my favorite prints. If you haven't seen me style camo, I will link that video in the cards. It'll be going across my head here. So definitely check that out if you want to see some ways you can style camo. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today it was cold outside. And I've already I had a long day at work and I'm home now, so I figured we would just start from the coat and then undress. So today I decided to wear my camel coat. This one is from Zara. If you guys already checked out my seven coats you need this fall and winter, then you would have already, already seen this coat. I got it from Zara and I've had it for a while. I love this coat a lot and it's pretty warm, it's wool. And then I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton Pochette Batiste. And on my feet, I'm wearing the Aqua Talia boots that I told you guys about when I first got them. These are all weather boots, they're like weatherproof. And today it was rainy and cold, so they were perfect. Underneath all that, I'm wearing this Topshop sweater. It's really warm and cozy and it's really soft. I really like it a lot. And I think I still have it at Nordstrom, so I'll link it in the description box. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing Topshop jeans. Actually, I didn't even think about that. I have a whole Topshop outfit on. But these jeans are really stretchy. These are the Jamie jeans, and I've had these for a while, but they always have this style. They just have different washes. And then for my hat, I forgot to tell you about my hat. This hat is halogen and I got it from Nordstrom. I love berets. I have a red one that I'm like dying to wear. So I'm gonna wear a lot of these and they're like lifesavers because I didn't feel like doing my hair. So I put this hat on and it was really cold so it kept me warm too. And that's it, that's my look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Today's another freezing day, so I decided to wear this chunky sweater that I got from Zara probably like two years ago, maybe even a little bit more. They were having like a super sale. I was in like a mall in Virginia, and they were like $15 or something, and this was really inexpensive. And it's a large knit, so I have a little tank underneath. And then these jeans are a pair of jeans that I recently got from Zara. They were like hard denim, like they have no stretch at all. And I had to go up a couple sizes, and if you guys saw my last Zara haul, you probably saw when I showed you guys the waist was like really, really big. And I got it taken in, and now it lays down really nicely, as you can see back here. I took it to Nordstrom Tailoring, and usually I only take stuff that I get from Nordstrom to Nordstrom Tailoring, but I really like the tailors there, so I took these, and I really like what they did. So I'm wearing these, and then I'm wearing these are boots. They're like a mid-calf boot. I got these boots like, I don't know, last year actually. I got these last year. And I had, didn't wear them yet. They might have been like during the summer last year or something. Or maybe it was over this summer. But they're not that old, but they're too, they're not, they don't have them anymore. Like they're not available in Zara anymore. And that's it, that's today's look. And this is a head to toe Zara look and I didn't even do this on purpose. But I really like this outfit a lot. This turtleneck is honestly the most perfect turtleneck I've ever had. Just because the way it sits up so nicely without being too stiff and it's not too floppy and it's the perfect length. Cause I don't even roll up, like fold over my turtlenecks anymore. I wear them like, you know, ruched up, and I really like this, so I think it's really flattering. And then I'm gonna throw on my coat and bag and show you how that looks. Hey 
I have the entire look with my coat. This is a coat I got a few years ago from Nordstrom Rack, but it's by BCBG. Love this coat. Another military style maxi coat. I really love those styles, as you guys can tell, because if you watch my seven coats, you need this for the winter, then you saw the navy one that I have. And here's another one. This one doesn't have a belt. It fits really nice. It's a little bit oversized, but I have a chunky sweater on it, and that's what I like about it, because I can wear my chunky sweaters under it. A lot of times, the sleeves are too narrow, and I can't fit a chunky sweater under it, but this is today's look. I'm gonna be nice and warm, and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm also wearing a darker lip, just like I did yesterday. It's by NARS, it's one of their like chunky lip pencils, and it's in the color DM, so. Really cute, really comfortable, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Today I am wearing more camo, and I really like this outfit. So let's start from the bottom up. These are my Zara booties. You guys saw these before. I love these patent leather booties. And I'm wearing my new Zara leggings. You guys haven't seen these in my, any of my Zara hauls because these are new. And I really love them a lot because of the color. They're just perfect for the fall. And they have like a faux button here on the waist, so it looks like they're, they're like a leather pant, but they're really not. They're a leather legging. And it zips on the side. These are extra large and they're pretty big in the waist for me, but they fit like my thighs really well, so I don't know if I go down a size how that's gonna work because I honestly didn't even try a smaller size one. I have another pair of Zara leggings in the same extra large size and I like the way they fit so I just figured it would be the same thing but maybe not. So if you're interested in these leggings, go and try them on in a couple different sizes to be sure. And then for my top, this is a long sleeve mock neck that I got from H&M. I really like this color, it looks nice against the hunter green leggings. And then it looks really cute under my Free People army jacket. I love this jacket you guys. It was in one of my past hauls, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the cards or something, but it was a really great haul. I had a lot of good pieces, and this is one of my favorites. What's so cute about it is that it ruches up in the back, so it creates sort of like a peplum shape, and it's really flattering and really girly, especially on something so masculine almost. Like, army jackets are really, like, rough and rugged, so I think it makes it really feminine and pretty, and I like that. So let me zip it up and show you how it looks. And the inside, you just, like, pull the tabs and you can make the waist tighter. <laughs> I was telling her our waist as tight as I could take it because it's a little hard zipping it up, but you could always let it out some if you wanted to. But it makes a really cute shape in the back. That's really flattering. And then the sleeves balloon out. Really love this outfit. I decided to take my Marshalls handbag that I've had for years. I think I paid, it was definitely under $100. I might even pay like $80 for this bag from Marshalls. And then I have my Louis Vuitton bag strap. I just hooked it on there. And it makes it like a designer bag, you guys. So if you're somebody who's looking to transform some of your handbags that you have already, just get a bag strap and hook it onto like as many of your bags that were inexpensive as possible and create different bags. Like you don't have to go buy a whole new handbag if you don't want to, you know? And even if you do want to, you could put a new bag strap on one of your expensive bags. Like you can mix it up, whatever you want to do, you know? Just another look. So that's my outfit for today. I really enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm actually headed out to an event. I didn't have anything to show you guys on Friday and Saturday. So I wanted to show you this outfit because I thought it was pretty cute. And like I said, I'm going to an event so I did a little something extra here. I'm not gonna talk about my shoes in my bag because I'm gonna do a special week of videos where I'll go more in depth on these two items. So for now, you can just see what it is. And if you can guess it, leave it in the comments what they are. But for jeans, I don't remember what brand they are. I think they're Rag and Bone, but I'll link it in the description box if I can find something, I can, if I can find the exact jeans or something similar, so check there. The top is old, I've had it for a couple of years now, but it's from Topshop, so I will, I'll find something similar and link that for you guys as well, if I can. And then my jewelry, Yerman, Dior, Tory Burch, Michael Kors, a mixture, and then I'm wearing Dior travel earrings. And that's it, a really comfortable, but really cute outfit, like a street chic sort of look. I love this outfit a lot. I love ultra shoulder tops. I think it's perfect for the winter because you want to show like a little bit of skin. This is like a really flattering area on the body to show off. So anyway, today I'm headed out to an event at Nana's Chicken and Waffles. You guys, if you haven't seen any of my other videos where I mentioned Nana's Chicken and Waffles, then I'm gonna, let me tell you now, it's one of the best chicken and waffle places I've ever been. And it's probably the best chicken and waffles in Georgia. I mean, I haven't had every chicken and waffles, 
place in Georgia, but that's it. That's my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole outfit of the week. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite. If you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs down, but make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know why. You guys, if you haven't been shopping my closet sale, now is the time. I'm going to be adding new pieces in different sizes as well. So those of you that told me you couldn't shop the sale because I didn't have anything that fit you, now is the time. So check it out. I'm going to be adding new pieces as I go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.